Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim. Now, previously we went into the Shroud Hearth Barrow and cleared out the fake ghost that was in there and got a really lame treasure, but we did manage to get a hold of the Sapphire Dragon Claw, which we can add that to our Dragon Claw collection. Of course, at some day we will be returning to Riverwood to relieve Luke and Valerius of the Golden Claw. Anyway, well, back to what we were doing. We originally came to Iverstead because we we're trying to get to the top of the mountain to High Hrothgar to meet with the Greybeard. So, why don't we finish doing what we originally set out to do? Look at this guy. Hey, buddy, you working hard or hardly working? Anyway, okay. So here's the bridge. Four, almost 4:30 p.m. Not today. I'm just not and this is Klimek. This is the guy we heard of Klimek. He's the one who goes and brings supplies up to the Greybeards. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar. About to make a delivery up there myself. Is there anything that maybe you can tell me about High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. A single well, word. Not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. What types of deliveries do you make to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. No, well, of course I'm gonna offer to do it. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Sounds simple enough. Here we go. Be careful up there. Thanks, buddy. Don't worry. I got an orcish bow, so we'll be fine. I sure hope no big trolls or anything crazy comes out to get me on my way up here. I wonder how many steps that just was. I wonder if it's really 7,000 steps. Uh, has anybody ever actually counted them <laughs> when they played this? Like, oh, it's a wolf. Oh, look how he's jumping, though. <laughs> look at this freeze frame of how he's jumping. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with the torch. <clears throat> Get out of here. Get the heck. Hit him in the face and a blade to the noggin. Temple. Dome, whatever. All right, here we go. Don't need the torch. Put that away. Really low on stamina. Well, I'm in the 7,000 steps. Sure takes its toll. Oh, hey, little goat. Be a shame if someone Fusror dodged you off the mountain, but I don't have all the words just yet. But don't worry, little goat. I will. Let's see if it works anyway. Will the Foos just push him off? Foos! No, Foos didn't do much. Sorry. Up the steps we go. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Did you hear the Greybeards called Dovagin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. I don't know what it means. What are you doing? I like to spend time up here, walk the steps, meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Bagging some game, okay. Until next time. Until next time. There won't be a next time, because I don't ever want to see you again. How about that? I heard some more wolves. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Where's the wolves? Where could they be? I heard them. Oh, well, they found me, apparently. Okay, uh, Sparks. Where you at? Whoa, Ice Wolf all up in my face. 
Oh, he looks friendly. Kick it in the face. It's still sword to the dome. Done and done. Another one? Oh, you picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Oh, oh, we should totally hit him with Soul Trap, too. Okay. All right, so first we're going to hit. I'm going to throw out some Oak Flesh. And then we're going to pull out, not the Iron Sword. we got to get rid of that Iron Sword. Wait, don't kill me. Wait. All right, I need some more uh, magic. Uh, I hit him with Soul Trap. Gotcha. Soul captured. Thank you. Okay. Further up the mountain we go. Sorry, little goat. We are almost maybe to the top. Are we almost to the top? No, we still got a little ways to go. What's this? What is that? Take this bowl. What's in there? Oh, is there money? Ah. Ah. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Thank you. Okay. What is that? Is that another wolf? Stupid ice wolf die. And I'll take that soul as well. Thank you. Ice Wolf Pelt. Moving on. Here we go. The sun is setting with a nice orange glow. And here we are freezing on top of a mountain. Oh, I should definitely put gloves on. Why am I running around without gloves? That doesn't make any sense. My hands are freezing. So I wonder if we've gone up at least like 3,000 steps. Are we at least halfway there yet? I have no idea. Eh, get those steps. Come on. Oh, hey. Another person. How are you? What are you doing? Keep an eye what are you the doing? Steps. Meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Ah, who are you though? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that if you don't mind. But it, of course it tells me her name is Karita. Did you hear the gray beards called Dovagin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. I know. That's crazy, right? All right then. Hey, did you know that I'm the one that they called Dovahkiin? No? Does it matter? Okay. Time to go. Okay, I have a really bad feeling that something's gonna happen when I go up over this hill, so I better get into sneak position and be ready just in case something happens. I don't know what. Yes, I do. I know what's gonna happen. But I'm not telling you. Where is he? There he is. It's a frost troll. Oh, you know what we should hit him with? I know. We should use the fire arrows because I haven't even used them yet. Come get me, frost troll guy. I missed, of course. Oh, the dual shock battery's low again. I should probably learn how to charge my controller. These fire arrows are not working. Oh my god, he's coming right for me. Hit him with the flames. Back away, Frost Troll. You can't kill me. He's getting me. Hey, Karita, help me. Come back. You better help me, lady. Where did you go? Oh my god, he's chasing me. I don't want to die. Here, fight this frost troll for me. He's coming. What are you going to do? Are you just going to sit there and die? Help me. You're mine. All right, let's get him. All right. 
Oh, good job. We got him. Thanks, Karita. You're the best. All right. Some troll fat. Just be careful going up them stairs because, you know, you might run into a frost troll. Are we even getting close yet? I feel like we're getting closer. We have to be. No sign of High Rothgar yet. Still freezing to death. My Nord blood only keeps me so warm. We gotta be getting close by now. Come on now. Look at the wind. The wind is just insane. We're almost there. Come on, we're almost there. We gotta be almost there. These 7,000 steps are killing me. Oh my god, come on. Falling asleep at the wheel here. Hey, finally! We made it to High Hrothgar, finally. All right. The Monastery of High Hrothgar. All right. Here's the chest. Just put Klimek's supplies into the chest. Where's his supplies? Very good. All right, return to Klimek, but we'll do that later. And we've made it, ladies and gentlemen. We finally made it to High Hrothgar. It's time to meet the Greybeards. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You call me Dragonborn. What does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Oh, um, okay. There you go. How do you like that? Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Whoa, there's another one. Bori. I am Arngir. Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, I don't like this guy. Me, what are you looking at? Why have you come here? I'm answering your summons, Master. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. I'm ready to learn. Actually, no. Who? I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. Mmm. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Mm. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. We established that already. The inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Probably not, no. Uh, that remains to be seen. I don't like Without to be good, training, I want to be evil. Projecting your voice into a thumb, a shout. I want to be now evil, not good. And able to learn. Well, you got it. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. 
Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Very good. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Balance. Combine it with Fus, force. Force. Your thumb more balance. Ro. Ooh. I'll take that free dragon shout. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Nothing? Okay, there we go. So now we have the second word to unrelenting force, the famous Fus Roda. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Very good. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Oh, thank you. Extra power, free shout. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Uh Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. You got it. Okay, here we go. Force roll. Force roll. Okay. Well, got another one? Again. Let's see what we got here. Oh crap, I missed it. Whoops. You gonna send another one? No? Come on now, hurry up. Come on, third one. You learn quickly. Once more. Once more. Hurry up. Mm. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. Precisely. You show great promise, Dragon. Thank you. We will What's next? Perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Okay. Where's Master Bori? That's Einarth. Where's Bori? There you are. Okay. So how slow are we going to walk? Because... Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, out to the courtyard. I don't have time for this. Come on, man. We got places to go and things and people to see. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Are you coming? Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, everybody out. Let's go. Line up in the courtyard. I don't have time for this. Okay. Master Bori will teach you wood. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. All right. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Okay. Approach Master Bird and you will gift me the knowledge of wool. All right, gift me the knowledge of wool. So that way I can do the next test. You master a new shout. Alright. Whirlwind sprint. You got it. Here we go. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. 
Master Bori. Rex! Wolf! Now, your turn. Wool Nakes. Next to me, Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. <laughs> knocked him over. Almost knocked you over, Wolf guy. You better watch out. Get in my face. Speak to Iron Gear for further training. All right. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Oh. Oh, we got another trophy. The way of the voice. All right. So there's lots of stuff to ask Arngir about. Why are the dragons returning? What does it mean to be dragonborn? Why are the shots in the dragon language? There are only four of you. Tell me about the Greybeards. Who was Jurgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords. A master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain... Where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the well, first I promise I won't be misusing be so the way the of the voice, maybe, the gods, probably, mostly. I'll definitely misuse it. Misuse it a Jürgen lot. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition. The way of the voice was born. All right. Wind guide. All right. Well, I guess we have our next task. We have to go to Jorgen Windcaller's tomb to go and get the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. But first thing, we're going to fast travel back to Iverstead because I am not running back down the 7,000 steps again. That would not make any sense. We're back in Jorgen Windcaller. Who, who is this guy? You're the one they call Dragonborn. Who told you that? Uh, yes, I am Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. Oh. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. Lord Mirak. None shall stand to oppose him. Okay. Oh, you're gonna fight me? Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess I'm busted out with the sparks and this and this. Let me show you. Oh, come on, guys. I didn't mean to hit him. I should have let the guards handle this. This is crazy. Give me a 40 freaking gold bounty because he got in the way. I called this. Slice and dice ya. Oh, so now the guards are chasing me? Are you serious with the guards chasing me? Come on. Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna let them handle it this time. How about that? Instead of me getting involved, even though they are after me. The guards do their job, and I'm just gonna stay out of it because apparently I'm causing trouble. Okay. So, okay, we're back in the courtyard. Fast travel back to Iverstead. Let's try this again. Hopefully, we don't die, and I'm gonna let the guards handle this. It's the last time I try to help people. Mm. 
Watch okay. the skies, traveler. You watch the skies. As a matter of fact, watch these guys, not You're the, the skies. The these guys. Yes, I'm the one they call Dragonborn. Yes, I'm Dragonborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, bye. There we go. Get him. Let the guards handle this. There you go. Get him. All right. See, sometimes it's better to just let the guards do their jobs. <laughs> ah, what do you got? Uh, steal our staff of zombies? Oh, well, we can take this stuff and sell it. All right. Yeah, get him. Kill that guy. All right. Cultist order swamp fungal pod. Oh, we have the cultist orders over here. Search the cultist. Is there another one? Oh, I thought there was another cultist. There should be somewhere around here. Dead on the ground. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's read the cultist orders. Board the vessel Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Torin before he reaches Solstheim. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. Ah, okay, so that's the Dragonborn DLC stuff, which we're not going to really do right away. We're going to save that for a little later, but now we have the quest. So, all right, guys. That's all the time we have for this episode of our adventures in Skyrim. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn the notification bells on so you don't miss the next part or any other parts along this video. And if you haven't watched the previous episodes, make sure you do that as well. They are in the playlist on my channel called Skyrim Trophy Quest. Uh, I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and much love, guys. Thank you so much for all your support.